When we come down under, we will be going to South Australia, Adelaide to be specific. But what are the key selling points about South Australia? Well, let's find out in this video. South Australia. That's a view. It's our home, our community, and our secret. We this image, just picture this image. This is now my ingrained image of South Australia. Just vineyards after vineyards. As far as the eye can see, green vineyards. Now, please tell me if I'm wrong, and that's just a... Uh, not a stereotype, but a perceived image that's not necessarily accurate. Please tell me if that's incorrect or tell me if I am correct down in the comments down below. While you're down there, subscribe and like. But it's beautiful. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, but that is the impression I've got so far from, from everything I've learned. We're so proud to show it off to the world. And while the world is waiting, let's be explorers in our own backyard. Welcome back, South Australia. The Barossa. Clare Valley. McLaren Vale. And Adelaide Hills. It's wine, are food wine, and wine, wine, meckers, wine and food. Offering some of the most exclusive, unique and boutique food and wine experiences boutique. in the world. Take a day trip or linger longer to wander cellar doors Cycle the winery trails, meander through farmers markets, and stay in some of the most stunning accommodation, offering choices of resorts, quaint estates, or cottages with open fires. Oh my god, I love this view. I, I've seen this a few times, the Salt Lakes, and what a uh, man, what an amazing view. If I would say if I can get my drone up there, I will. And if I if I find one of these, so I got this for myself. But just being up, maybe in a helicopter, even in a plane, flying over this. Wow! It's it's look. It's not it's not unnatural or anything, but it's almost out of this world. Seeing at the pink lakes, it's just stunning. Explore South Australia's best regions on a tour. Find out about our fascinating range of Aboriginal experiences. Swim with dolphins, sharks and sea lions. Okay, they start off good with the swim with dolphins. And then sharks, no I'm okay, just, just the dolphins would be brilliant. Or discover the rugged and natural beauty of Kangaroo Island. Visit local wineries, stock More up wine. on fresh oysters. Make your way to Seal Bay, remarkable rocks and Flinders Chase National Park. But don't miss South Australia's first boutique distillery, boutique. Kangaroo Island Spirits, to try their awarded and delicious gin. Experience our beautiful landscapes from the sky on- um, No, I've heard bad stories about these. Look, I've heard bad stories, and they were even on the radio the other day, about basically all of a sudden losing heat and just plummeting. No. No thank you. Although it would be amazing to see up in the sky, I might have to do it with the drone instead. On a hot air balloon flight, see rolling hills, rows of vines and green plains. Take the slow, scenic route on a houseboat on the gorgeous Murray River. Now that, that, I don't like being on the sea, but that's not the sea, is it? That looks amazing. Just going down that river, the red rocks to the side. Oh man, that is incredible or rediscover an ancient world on a road trip to the Flinders Ranges and Outback. Marvel at Wilpena Pound, bushwalk, camp or glamp and look up at the night sky for a show like never before, surrounded by ancient mountain ranges in spectacular gorges. See a different side of Adelaide on a walking tour. Sail out Is that it? Now I'll get to my overall impression, but they don't really want to highlight their towns and cities, do they? In this in this um, promotional video, you know, it's not. It's all about the nature and the scenery. They don't want to to mention anything really about architecture or just this. The they've done a little bit on restaurants, but they they've got nothing in the city in this. And I want to know more about that as well. Out to sea on a giant catamaran 
or see the city through the eyes of a local on a market tour. That's it, the market. We are oh so proud to be South Australian and ask you... Okay, that's, I assume, it. Yes, that's it. I'm going to find a nice image. Let's get that one because that was, uh, that was what I get. Now, so what I've, as I said, what I get from so far from learning everything about South Australia, it's all about the wineries. Amazing wine. Now, I don't mind wine. I'll drink it if I have to. I mean, who turns down alcohol? I'm sure someone will in the comments. But what I get from South Australia compared to, for example, Victoria or New South Wales or even Brisbane is that this is an amazing place for maybe retired people, for people that want to get away from the hustle and bustle. And I'm sort of in between. I, I like I, I don't like cities like London because it's too much. But then I don't want to be out in the countryside with all the farms and, and tractors. I can't be doing that. So where I live is somewhere in between. And I think possibly in South Australia, you can possibly find that in certain places like Adelaide, possibly. You can find that middle ground. It's not too busy, not too quiet. But you can go places here that... I think you have to be wealthy-ish uh, to be able to have the life of of almost of relaxation but luxury at the same time. I love that it's a lot about nature and, and it's there's this uh, lots of trees and, and things like that. You know, trees are amazing. They can increase your lifespan for sure. They really, really can. They're incredible. Being around trees and Look what you see. It, it, it's just absolutely stunning. It really is stunning. It, it's like I've looked at the Northern Territory and that is stunning, but in a completely different way. You know, there, there's, I don't think it's a competition of what's more beautiful because the you know, Northern Territory, South Australia, it's beautiful in different ways. I cannot wait to come. Uh, I will be getting drunk, I reckon, because vineyard, vineyard, vineyard. So yeah, in the comments, let me know. If you're from South Australia, and I know there's people from South Australia that watch my videos, what are the best things about South Australia, maybe compared to the other states? If you're not from South Australia, but you visited, what did you not like about South Australia? Please let me know. And I know one plus, and that's fruit chocks, because fruit chocks are amazing. If you don't know what they are, Google it. The best chocolates. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure, as always, to be on your screens. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time.